Hey there, it's Annette from Easel and welcome to another DIY design tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can upload your own fonts into Easel and turn them into a glittery gold or a metallic text effect, all without touching Photoshop. So let's grab our fonts, jump into Easel and I'll show you how. Right, so this is the type of glittery gold effect I'm going to show you how you can make an easel in literally seconds. You can upload any of your own fonts into easel or you can use any of our fonts and you can add any texture or effect into it. But in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this gorgeous glitter effect and also a metallic gold effect. Starting from scratch, I'll just add another page underneath here and I'll apply a black background so it's easier for you to see. We start by adding a text box onto our canvas. And on the right side here, we've got the text menu, and this is where you can upload your own font. So very easily, just click on the button here and then just drag or drop your fonts onto here. So I've already got some that I want to use. And once they're uploaded, all I need to do is just drag them. And then that font is already applied to the text box that you drop on there. Just apply another color so that you can see that on there. And I'll typeset the word glitter. And I'm just going to make that a bit bigger. Now the next steps from here are super quick. Once I've got this text box selected, all I need to do is head up to the top menu here in the action bar and click on mask. Then I head to the right sidebar to the images tab and I pop into the search field, the sort of texture that I'm wanting to apply. So in this case, I'm looking for a glitter. And all I need to do now is click to add it to my text. That's as easy as it is. So I'll just zoom in so you can have a look at that. A really nice texture is showing through there. But the best thing about this is that the text can still be edited. So Let's just turn that into golden. I can type, I can change the size of my fonts. I can do anything that I would normally do with a font whilst I've got that texture applied to it. So I've got my gold. Now I'd like to go in and actually turn it into something that's really quite popular now is a rose gold. Whilst it's selected, head back up to the mask tool at the top and second from the end, I've got this filters tab. So if I click on that, you'll notice that there's all these preset options at the top. Now they just allow you to turn that into like a coppery color or a silver or any of these other shades. But if I click on the show more, I can go in and I can use this hue slider to turn it into a really nice rose gold hue. So again, I'll just zoom in again and you can see how nice that is with that bit of texture and variance between each letter. So that's it for the glitter. Now I'll go through it all again, just to show you how you can apply a different kind of texture. So selecting my text again, clicking the mask tool, heading over to the images tab. This time I'm going to search for gold. So looking for something with a bit more of a larger texture showing through. I'm going to use this one here just by clicking on it. And it's as simple as that. So you can actually move where that texture shows by increasing or decreasing the size of your text box. And as usual, you can also edit that as you go. And that's as easy as it is. Super quick, no Photoshop required. Insert any texture into any font in seconds. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching.